Okay, I wanted to talk about this. This is my 3D printed arcade cabinet. Uh, I designed it in Fusion 360 and printed it out on two Creality CR10 minis. I'll uh, go over the various features here. So right away, I want to talk about the marquee. The marquee is actually called the Pixelcade LCD. It's a uh, product offered by the gentleman of name, his name is Al. And it's over at uh, pixelcade.org. A um, little bit more about how I discovered it, but what's unique about this product is it changes the image for the game that you're playing. So I have Darkstalkers pulled up, and uh, if I change it to another game, it'll display different graphics. So let's demonstrate this a little bit here. I'm going to go down here to Ghouls and Ghosts, and then in just another, another second here, it'll, it'll update. There it goes. And what's cool about this is it'll also play uh, animations, uh, GIF animations. And uh, so there's a lot of customization that's, uh, that's capable with this, with this system of his. I'm going to go down here to Street Fighter 2, and then it'll play that animation. In this case, it, it shows uh, the various moves of the characters, and not all of them. But uh, some of the more memorable ones, maybe. Um, and then once the animation is complete, it'll show the static image for that game. Uh, and it doesn't just work with arcade games. It'll work with any any uh, gaming system you've got for your particular front end. So once again, this is called the Pixelcade LCD. And uh, it's compatible with, uh, with Raspberry Pi 3B, 3B+, 4B. Uh, it'll work on PC. It'll work for... Um, a number of the systems out there. Um, it's compatible with RetroPie, LaunchBox, BigBox. So you have some options afforded to you with this uh, system. This isn't the only product that he offers. This is just something that I chose. It's more right up my alley um, and it's compact enough to work with something of this size. Uh, over at pixelcade.org, Al also offers um, LED marquees of uh, various sizes and resolutions. And you can retrofit this and the LED marquees to uh, the other commercial arcade units that are out there, like the Arcade 1UP, just to name one. Um, or if you design your own and you want to add a nice marquee to it, uh, he's got solutions. So I chose this uh, for my platform, the Pixelcade LCD. So go check out his site, pixelcade.org. Uh, so a little bit about the, uh, the build here. Um, as I mentioned, I was looking for a solution for a marquee, and I didn't want just a static image um, or a generic image, to, you know, to name the whole console. I had a hard time kind of figuring out what the name of this thing. There's so many names for these things, and I thought of something like Piecade that's already been taken. I thought of Berrycade because it uses a, a Raspberry Pi, but for now I'm just calling it my Arcade 3 or Arcade version 3. Um, I've printed three of these um, over the last couple of years. So, uh, CRT Blast is an image that offers a marquee solution, and it utilizes, um, in the case of the Raspberry Pi, a Raspberry Pi 4B, the second video output. And whatever game you're playing, it does just kind of like what this does here. Um, but I didn't want to be limited to just a Raspberry Pi 4B. I might want to, you know, throw another type of computer in here, um, a PC or another single board computer. Uh, the way I designed this is so that I could put um, a number of systems into this. And so the Pixel K LCD, in my case, was, was the, uh, the ultimate solution. Happened upon the site, looked it over, and originally had planned on buying a, uh, an LED marquee, and I found this, and I really like this because I like the high-resolution graphics. And uh, while I was designing all this, I already had purchased the screen um, that utilizes that software. So I reached out to Al and I said, hey, you know, I already got the screen and I already have a mounting system designed for it. And so he allowed me to try out the software. So I'm trying it out and I'm going to give him some feedback on it. And so I'm very grateful to Al for allowing me to do that. Um, also, we have here a 14-inch LCD monitor. This is just a regular old monitor sourced from a CCT uh, type of a system. Not the greatest monitor, but it works for what I need to. Um, I've, I've left enough space in the cabinet so if I want to go to a, uh, you know, a different monitor or um, a widescreen monitor or just a slightly bigger one, I have the room to do that. The bracketing system inside allows for that. 
um, I can print out another bracket that will accommodate that. Um, also we have here an SD card reader, a standard SD card that uh, adapts down to an SD micro that goes into the Raspberry Pi. I did that because I didn't want to constantly keep opening the case and uh, where I have the, the Pi situated, it's very difficult to get to the, the, uh, the memory card slot. So this makes that for um, a lot easier to, to change out images um, if I don't want to use the standard card that I have in there right now. Um, number of arcade buttons, there are um, side buttons for, for playing like pinball type style games, which I plan to add in here at some point. The joysticks are Sanwa, but the buttons are not. They're just uh, cheap buttons from Amazon, but I do um, plan on upgrading those later to Sanwa or Hap. Uh, but for now, this will do. Um, this is just a, I don't know, prototype, if you will. I mean, it is 3D printed. But um, that's the whole point. It's my STEM project. I, I, I work for schools. I, I, I do IT. And one of the things that I, I do is uh, I assist people with STEM. And I like to use this kind of as my, my teaching piece, my demonstration piece for any of those that are interested in doing 3D printing. So, so yeah, just a couple things. I mentioned earlier... Uh, that I designed this in Fusion 360 and took about 250 hours approximately, give or take um, a few hours there, spread across two months, started it back in, in, in late June and finished it about a couple of weeks ago. And then it took about five days to print everything across those two printers, two CR10 minis, Creality. And that wasn't all spread back to back, that was, uh, that was all done across a couple of weekends, so about two weeks total. Uh, a lot going on right now in the education IT world, and uh, that's been keeping me busy. So I just kind of fit the printing and the design work where I had time for it. So, so that that's those are the main features right now. Um, there there are some speakers there. You just kind of angle the, the camera down a little bit. Two stereo speakers. There's an amp in the back. I am going to pause the video and uh, and I'll show you the, the the functionality from the back side and some I/O. Be back in a few seconds. Okay, so here we are at the back of the cabinet. Uh, I'm going to go over these components here real briefly. So here's the back of the Pixelcade system. The Pixelcade LCD runs off of this Pi Zero W. So rather than being fed to the from from the Raspberry Pi 4B's uh, second video out, it, it operates over USB. There's a software image that once you've purchased this your central link and you download that and you burn that to your, your, your micro SD card, place that in your Pi Zero W, and then you interface that with your Raspberry Pi or your PC. It runs off that, um, that, that innermost um, port right there, that micro port. And not only does it power the Raspberry Pi, it also uh, sends the data back and forth. So it kind of acts as a, uh, as a daughter board. And then it connects to that control board right there. Um, and then once again, that, like I said earlier in the first part of the video, that'll interface with a PC, other single board computers. So you're not just limited to the 4B, uh, the Raspberry Pi 4B, you can use it with a Raspberry Pi 3, a PC, any other single board computer out there. All right, so just kind of going from top to bottom here, we got two stereo speakers that's powered by this, uh, this little amplifier right here. It contains a tri-path uh, amplifier, uh, transistor I guess those are kind of rare I just found that out so I was kind of kind of lucky to, to discover that let's go ahead and power it on so that's powering up a couple of features and here we got a, a buck converter power system I didn't want to use mains current inside of this so I decided to go with some kind of a, um, a unified power system here that allows me to, to operate within lower voltages it's fed from a 24 volts input. It actually uses a, um, a 24 volt LED power supply and it's at 10 amps. So there's plenty of current to supply this whole thing and run what I needed to do. And each of these, I can dial it into a specific output current and a specific output voltage. So, so these efficiently run the whole system. I have, I have one for, for each major component and then uh, I'm running a some of those fans in parallel. A um, couple quick specs. Uh, let's see, the uh, the buck converters themselves, they're they're designed to put out about 173 watts peak. Um, at idle, I'm about 38 watts. 
So there's about 15 amps of current available to all the components if it's needed, if it's everything's um, being put through its paces. Um, about 3.5 amps uh, at idle. And on the 24 volt supply side, um, we're about 7 amps peak if it's needed and, and about a minimum of 1.5 amps idle. So we have that buck converter power system. We have a number of fans in here. We have uh, an intake fan and then we got a fan for the, the 4B. The 4B has a heat sink case uh, with two fans on it already, but I wanted to add additional power, but that also helps exhaust some of the, um, the system's heat a little bit. Of course, the, the power supply has its own fan, so there's, there's plenty of um, cooling and venting in this. So there's cooling ports on either side of the cabinet. Um, and then we got some I.O. down here. I have an audio in jack, 3.5 millimeter, an ethernet jack if I want to do a direct connection. And a USB jack. I figured if I need to make some configuration changes, I can add a keyboard or, if I want to, a third controller. Or um, I've got a uh, an arcade deck uh, that's separate from this. I can add a third arcade deck for for uh, for three-player games. Um, I could go with a hub, and I can actually change this out um, for for a two-port adapter. I can uh, print a 3D bracket that'll that'll retain those two. And then there's that amplifier right there. And then this chassis I built for these buck converters. This can slide out and I can take those individual buck converters out and make changes if I need to. Those buck converters have a little display on them. You can't see it from here, but it reads out the output voltage, amperage, um, if, I, if I need to see what that is. And then I can adjust things if I need to. Uh, I've got some barrier strips there to kind of tie everything together. So there you have it. There's the back of the system. There's the back of the case. And that, my friends, is my 3D printed arcade unit featuring the Pixelcade LCD. So once again, check out Al's site at pixelcade.org. See, he's got a number of products that are um, arcade uh, centric. The uh, the LED marquees, the Pixelcade LCD. Um, if you're looking to customize your arcade cabinet, um, you won't be disappointed. That is all, my friends.